In this video, I'm going to show you how to use Rock Cell for Apex Legends. Now, the first thing you want to do is, of course, download and install your Rock Cell. And the easiest way to do this is as follows you have to Google Rock Cell and then download next to it. And then the first thing that pops up is from GitHub and it says releases A1XD slash Rock Cell. You want to click on this. And then over here, it should say version 1.6.1 and latest next to it with a green uh, bracket. Now, if you see this, you have to go down to where it says assets. And then you see this raw Excel version 1.6.1.zip. Okay. And now once you see this zip folder, simply click on it and it's going to start downloading for you. And once that's downloaded, you simply extract it and you will get a folder which looks just like this over here, which is the official Roxel folder with everything you need to play Apex Legends using Roxel. So next thing you wanna do is go to installer over here and double click it. And once you double click it, it's going to install almost instantly for you. The command, command prompt on your Windows is going to open up and install it. But then it's going to ask you to restart your computer in order for your uh, installation to be complete. Then just simply do that, restart your computer. And once you're back in here, we can continue. Now, once you've done that, you're going to be able to open up this rawxcel.exe file, which is going to open up this little puppy for you, which is the rawxcel program that we are going to modify right now to play Apex Legends. Now, there are multiple settings, there are actually countless different settings people like to use, but I play Valorant a lot, and I found that some settings from Valorant uh, come into play while playing Apex Legends as well, and a gamer, a streamer that is very popular in the Valorant space, is called Tens, and I'm going to show you his settings, and I recommend you use these and test them out, and I bet you'll like them. So, what he does is basically, for the first thing you want to go do is go to charts, do scale by mouse settings, and set your DPI and pull rate to whatever your mouse has, okay? Mine is 1600 by 1000, as you can see. And then once that's done, you click on rescale by above, and your graph should change accordingly to your mouse settings. And then the next thing, you want to put the sense multiplier to 1, and the Y slash X ratio to... Uh, empty, so it should be empty. You want to lock the X and Y ratio over here, so you need a blue check mark over here, and the rotation should be set at zero. Now, the next thing is very important. From the drop down menu, you want to select linear and then check gain over here. Acceleration should be at 0.05, like this, and then the cap type at output, there we go, and then the, the cap output should be set to 1.2 and the input offset at 15. Now these are all the settings inside the actual uh, program, raw Excel, and then you wanna click on apply, and there you go, you get this nifty little curve over here, which is exactly what we wanna have. But then right after this, you want to close down your raw Excel and go into the extracted folder and go into settings.json folder, and then click on notepad, open it just once, scroll all the way down to the bottom to where it says degrees of angle snapping and you want to set this to 15 degrees now i like 15 degrees and many people like 15 degrees but some people like to use 20 or anything in between 15 and 20 so you can play around and see whatever uh, angle snapping degree is best for you but i like 15 and i would recommend you use the same and now once you've changed that to 15 you go up here to file save and then close this down open up Raw Excel again, again click on apply, and that's it. You've successfully installed and uh, set up your Raw Excel to play Apex Legends, and I hope this video helped you out, and if you did, make sure to subscribe to the channel, and that's it.